Greetings, nerdlings. Today, we're going to start discussing the endomembrane system of cells. The first two organelles that we're going to be describing are the Golgi apparatus, which is right here, and the endoplasmic reticulum, which is right here. We're also going to be describing how those two organelles interact with each other to ship and process different macromolecules within the cell. All right, like I said, we're going to begin with the endoplasmic reticulum and the Golgi apparatus. So these two organelles play a key role in the synthesis and hydrolysis of macromolecules in the cell. Now, if you will focus your attention on the video feed, you guys probably remember these little tangle beads. So we're talking about synthesis or dehydration synthesis and hydrolysis. If you remember the process of hydrolysis we add water to a molecule and it splits. Hydro meaning water and lysis meaning to split. So if I needed to split a macromolecule, we would add water. So, okay, hydro, lysis. We used water to split. Now if I wanted to synthesize a molecule, I would use the process of dehydration synthesis, which is also called, if you said condensation reaction, you're correct. So hydrolysis is splitting with water, and dehydration synthesis is taking the water out, dehydrating it to join molecules. So dehydration synthesis, we remove water, okay, and the molecules stick together, or they form bonds. If we wanted to split the bond, again, we use the process of hydrolysis, adding water to split the cell. Now that we're done with that, there are various players and they modify macromolecules for various functions. So the endoplasmic reticulum manufactures membranes and performs many biosynthesis functions within the cell. They are membrane connected to the nuclear envelope and it extends throughout the cell. It accounts for 50% of membranes in eukaryotic cells. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. We have rough ER which is studded with ribosomes, and then we have smooth ER, which lacks ribosomes. These are the two types of endoplasmic reticulum. So if you look here, this is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum are covered with these little black dots. Those little black dots are the ribosomes. So if you couldn't really tell in this picture right here, you could focus on this little cartoon drawing of it. So smooth endoplasmic reticulum lacks all of those little black dots. Rough endoplasmic reticulum has the ribosomes, which are these little black dots. So it's a factory processing operation. Many metabolic processes occur in the endoplasmic reticulum. We have again the synthesis, meaning that we're putting molecule molecules together by removing water, and the hydrolysis adding water to split. So enzymes of the smoothie are. The main function of the smoothie are is dealing with fats. So we synthesize lipids, oils, phospholipids, and phospholipids should sound familiar because our plasma membrane is made out of a phospholipid bilayer. They also synthesize steroids and sex hormones. So synthesis means that we're removing water to bring molecules together. Now this, if you remember, is an anabolic enzymatic reaction. Anna adds. So remember, Anna adds things together. The hydrolysis or splitting of molecules also occurs in the endoplasmic reticulum. We have the breakdown of glycogen, which is in the liver, into glucose. Now this is a catabolic reaction. If you remember from last year, I talked about cats scratch things apart. So cats scratch. They are breaking bonds and splitting things apart. So they also detoxify you from drugs and poisons in the liver. So if you had alcohol or drugs, which you shouldn't at your age, your liver is going to handle those and it's going to break them down with the help of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. 
The smooth endoplasmic, uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum produces proteins for export out of the cell. They're protein secreting cells and they're packaged into transport vesicles for export. So if you see right here, we have our rough endoplasmic reticulum. Any materials that are formed here, such as proteins, are going to be pinched off in the form of a vesicle and transported to the Golgi apparatus. So they synthesize membrane phospholipids as well, which helps us to build new membranes. So whenever we need to update our cell or plasma membranes, the endoplasmic reticulum is what helps us do this. As the endoplasmic reticulum membrane expands and buds off to transfer to other parts of the cell that need membranes. So the synthesis of membrane proteins occurs here as well. Membrane-bound proteins are synthesized directly into the membrane. Processing to make glycoproteins also occurs on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So again, we have the endoplasmic reticulum here. It pinches off whatever needs to be transported into these vesicles, which are then transported into the Golgi apparatus. Which brings us to our next cell organelle, the Golgi apparatus. The function of the Golgi apparatus is to finish, sort, and ship cell products. This is the center of manufacturing or warehousing and is in charge of sorting and shipping different molecules in the cell. It's extensive in cells specialized for secretion. It has a flattened membranous sac, and those are called cisternae. It looks like a stack of pita bread, so all these little folds. It has two sides, and each of those two sides has a different function. It has the cis side, which you see here. The cis side is what receives vesicles from the endoplasmic reticulum. Once those vesicles fuse with the cis side of the Golgi apparatus, they're then eventually tagged and sorted and shipped to the trans side. The trans side is where these vesicles bud off and get shipped to the parts of the cells that need them. So right here, we have our Golgi apparatus. It's going to receive vesicles from the endoplasmic reticulum on the cis side. Eventually, the ingredients or macromolecules that are carried from the endoplasmic reticulum into the Golgi apparatus by those vesicles are transported to the trans side. Once they're in the trans side, they're going to be put in a different vesicle and shipped out of the Golgi apparatus to different places in the cell that need them, many times the plasma membrane. During the path from the cis to the trans side, products from the endoplasmic reticulum are modified into their final form. It tags, sorts, and packages the materials into transport vesicles. The Golgi itself is kind of like UPS headquarters. The transport vesicles are like the UPS trucks. They're delivering the packages that have been tagged with their own barcodes. So putting it all together, again, we have macromolecules or proteins that are being synthesized in the rough and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. In the rough endoplasmic reticulum, those proteins are put into vesicles which are pinched off. Those vesicles are then transported to the cis side of the Golgi apparatus. At this point, they go through their tagging and modification and eventually end up in the trans side of the Golgi apparatus. They're then pinched off into vesicles and shipped to parts of the cells that need them, like this vesicle right here getting shipped to the plasma membrane. Well, that concludes our lecture for today over the Golgi apparatus and the endoplasmic reticulum. Stay tuned for the next lecture. We're going to be talking about lysosomes, peroxisomes, vacuoles, and vesicles.